The Kuala Lumpur Magistrates Court on Friday acquitted Agriculture and Agro-Based Industry Deputy Minister Sim Zazin, Petaling Jaya MP Maria Chin Abdullah and Bursay Secretariat Head Mandeep Singh of their charges under the Peaceful Assembly Act for taking part in the Kitalawan Rally. They maintain the stand that they are all, a while, all along, they are innocent. This whole thing was a political charge, political motivated against them. And uh, at this juncture, what is next, what to move on is for the re seeing the repeal of the Peaceful Assembly Act, which is violating human rights and all that. And we hope to put the government of the day to task and see this particular act being abolished in Parliament. The trio took part in the street protest held in the Kuala Lumpur city centre on March 28 in 2015. The rally hit out at the goods and services tax and other issues. The magistrate made the decision after the deputy public prosecutor told the court they had considered a letter of representation sent to the Attorney General's chambers wishing to withdraw the charges. I think, uh, number one, we are very happy to, uh, to be discharged and also acquitted by the, by the court. Uh, this is a victory for uh, not only for us, also for everyone. Uh, on the street, especially the reformacy movement, as well as well as the what do you call uh, the civil society. Uh, we three of us walk on the street to protest GST, to protest uh, this jailing of Anwar, which is uh, injustice to Anwar as well as everyone. Uh, protest against causes of. Uh, rakyat, yeah, we, we fight for the rakyat, but how, unfortunately, under the previous uh, regime, we are all seen as criminal. We are being charged, and we are dragged to court to for the past three, three and a half years. Yeah, every month we have to come to court. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of uh, people's money. The the time. our time and a waste of court's time. And I hope that nobody. And will need to undergo what we went through for three and a half years. Uh, and there are other cases too uh, who, who are actually still charged under the illegal assembly. And I really hope that you know they will be released and the, the charges will be dropped because uh, there is no ground for, for taking us through these court cases.